Now this is Jenna Flower from Abundance Amplified Tarot and more. Wow, that's interesting. My camera just shifted there. This is a reading for Gemini. Let's get in and see what the cards are saying here. Okay, wow. All right, so first out, we have the Ace of Cups here, okay? And that is a glorious card. I remember your last reading. Uh, you folks were really working on some things here. Um, I feel like that you have had like an outpouring of love, whether this is self-love or people around you that have really helped you um, to feel like you're moving forward. I see new beginnings Okay, um, I do see that there was a little bit of a stumbling block for you, or there will be. Like, there's things that are happening for you that maybe, okay, um, have kind of reminded you of some of the energies in the past. Now, it could actually be a person uh, that's doing this for you. I do have the lovers coming out here for you. Um, but it could just be some energy, all right. And I feel like you guys are just kind of kicking back and kind of reflecting a little bit, trying to figure out um, what you want to do next. I, this lover's card won't go away, so I'm going to stick it here. OK, um, I really feel like for some of you, uh, it was an ex that probably opened your eyes to something about yourself. OK. Um, I feel like it was something that um, either didn't work out or this person left too soon is what I'm hearing. And um, I think that you have been trying to figure out what's going on here. I've got listen to life. I'm attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way to the eternal. So what I'm seeing for you is that you really are in this reflective phase right now, okay? And I think that's a really good place to be. Uh, I think that, you know, in order to not repeat things, we kind of have to be reflective and really pay attention, okay? Um, no matter what someone else does, we always play a role. We always play a part. And if we want that to change, then we have to pay attention to see what we're doing in a situation. Yeah, I've got adjustments are required here. So in order for you to really move forward, okay, and I mean start fresh, have things work out differently, uh, feel better about yourself, okay, um, I feel like you need to make some personal adjustments here. I've also got nothing is yet set in stone. OK, so if you guys are thinking about possibly going back <laughs> to an ex, just know that um, it hasn't been completely severed. But I'm really being called to ask you whether or not it's best for you at this point. Um, it looks like you have a lot to be grateful for. OK. Um, I see celebrations around you. Uh, I see, I see that someone out there has, has built themselves a pretty solid framework of people. Okay. Some of you might be contemplating wanting to move forward. Maybe you're trying to make that decision. Maybe you're trying to figure out whether to go on your own or stay in this relationship. Okay. Um, but I see you coming into a place where you're going to have deep feelings of peace and happiness here. Okay. You're going to be very contented in your personal life. And I think that has a lot to do again with, you know, the way you're perceiving things and the decisions that you're being called to make now. Um, I also see for some of you very possibly um, you could be receiving some kind of a windfall. Now, this can come in the form of advice, okay, or assistance. This could also be a monetary windfall. Uh, it could be a very successful project or a possibly um, a change in a career here, okay? So let's move these out of the way. 
And I'm going to ask for some clarifications on these cards. Let's ask first about this Ace of Cups. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. Let's see what you guys are dealing with. Okay, I've got a King of Pentacles coming out. Can you give me two more cards, please? Okay, so to clarify your Ace of Cups, I have a King of Pentacles, I have a Three of Wands, and we have the Wheel of Fortune coming out here. Now this is for the Ace, okay? So, wow, what I really see here is that at some point, you folks have decided to really grab on to this project and really start moving forward. Like you are standing your ground, uh, you're standing in a, in a place of kind of deep knowing, and this has brought in significant opportunity for you, okay? Which makes sense, which is why you have that, that ace overflowing. Now, that has to do with love. For some of you, I really feel like there might have been a situation around you that was taking a lot of your time and a lot of your focus, and you have just kind of decided that you were going to put yourself first, that you were going to kind of give that a rest and kind of see, you know, how it worked out on its own a little bit. And you have just like jumped forward here. Again, this is bringing significant opportunity for you. And I think as long as you stay in that focus and you stay in that King of Pentacles energy, that it's really going to blossom and grow for you, which makes sense with the other cards we just had, right? So let's take these out. And let's do the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I see someone out there is really trying to make a decision here. Okay, I've got this Knight of Swords. I've got the Eight of Cups again. So what I'm seeing is that some of you are trying to decide, trying to decide, okay, whether to move forward or not. And it's making you really anxious. It's giving you some kind of reckless energy. Part of it, I'm going to tell you, Gemini, is just the fact that it's moving on into the unknown. Maybe things went really smoothly and you weren't used to that. Or maybe you're not used to the fact that you're having a little bit of hesitation here. Okay? I do see that as you move forward here, you're getting that Ace of Pentacles. Okay? Okay? Again, the fool has come out here. This is showing me that a lot of what you're trying to do here, it's a new start, it's a new beginning. And I think really what you need to understand is that maybe you're not as comfortable as you think just moving forward into the unknown. I don't think it's really anything more than that. That Ace of Pentacles, this has been, you know, this is a, a universal source sent opportunity for you, okay? Whatever project you're looking at, and I feel like this project is based in love, which is why you're getting such a good return from it, okay? Some of you, I think, uh, when I say to take care of yourselves, that's great, but it's also to be of service, right? And I feel like for some of you, as soon as you made that decision to include, um, you know, like a sole purpose decision that it, it just all of a sudden, everything just started to move forward for you and you got kind of confused here. I'm asking about this Four of Cups. Wow, I've got a lot of cards coming out for you. Now, when we ask about the Four of Cups here, I have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and I also have the Seven. So for me, um, as soon as you decided to move forward, now notice that that was a four, okay? We have that four of cups, which is, has something to do with the heart, right? Okay, you guys were kind of resting, reflecting, and saying, you know, wow, do I want to leave this in the past? What you came to understand, or what you will come to understand, is that you are building on a really solid foundation. It looks like you were juggling, okay, or trying to make a decision. Um, and I'm being told, you know, like, again... Um, you know, you don't have to juggle all these things at once. You can do one thing at a time. You can set something on the side, okay, and just set it for a second, 
all right or two or you know and and uh if you're talking about another human you know if that person is right for you and you say to them hey could you please just hold some space for me i really need to focus on this right now that should be enough okay that should be enough if they're the right person for you they're going to want to support you now if you've been dragging this out for eons without any kind of notification or something like that that's might be a different story but I feel like communication is really, really a key factor here, okay? I feel like you are going to balance these things out. Um, and I see you having the faith that you are moving forward, okay, into calmer waters. You've had some pretty harsh lessons. Um, again, I just feel like communication is key here. You know, when we communicate authentically, we really start to understand, we really start to see like who's with us and who's not, okay? Um, and I really feel like you really need to focus on this project. If this person is part of this project, there's no reason that there can't be a separation of project and personal. To some extent, you can ask for that space. Um, and I do see this leading into this 10 of cups. I really feel like um, I feel like this is new ground for you, but I feel it like if you stay tuned in, okay, to the why of what you're doing and come at it from a really heart authentic perspective that everything is going to work out for you. Okay. Ten of cups is, you know, harvest in love here. Okay. I really feel like communication is huge here. We've got goodness. I refine my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive. I calm my heart and illuminate my intellect to transform shadow into light. I consciously manifest goodness in and around me. I improve my qualities for the benefit of all. Okay. Again, it's that heart space. Notice that green energy there, right? This is heart space. So I think that's what you're really being called to do. The reminder here is that everything turns to light, okay? If something is meant for you, it's going to be there for you, okay? It's not going to walk away. So, you know, whenever anybody does anything out of desperation, it usually does not work out because you're putting that energy out there, right? That was that Knight of Swords reckless energy here going to get, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. I'm going, I'm shuffling through. Yeah. Thank you. I'm shuffling through the shaman deck. Yeah. Honoring your energy. Okay. This is really about you understanding. I'm going to put it up so you can see it here. Honoring your energy. This is really about you understanding that no matter who you're with, you have to honor your own energy that you are learning how to take care of yourself how to how to to be a protective to you know move forward and take care of yourself at the same time and stay balanced i mean it's a lot it's a lot right so i think uh again if this is the person that is meant for you then there's not going to be a problem here okay I've also got creating heaven on earth, Lemuria, it's happening. So this is kind of what you need to focus on. Focus on that project. Focus on staying authentic in the moment, staying in that heart space, taking care of yourself. Um, you had that ace of cups and you also had the promise of this ace of pentacles here. Everything is going to work out. It's how are you dealing with things in the moment? Okay, that's what really needs to be focused on is how are you dealing with things in the moment? I'm going to go ahead and pull you a couple more cards here. Um, I would also ask that you like, share, and subscribe if this reading is resonating with you. Also, please check out the description box. All of my offers are there. I do have a, a free download and a couple books to help people along the way, intro books on their path. We've got the swan coming out for you, number 12, which goes into a three, mind, body, spirit, transformation, okay, and trusting in the psychic gifts. So part of this <clears throat> for all of us right now is that we are learning how to trust in ourselves, 
trusting our intuition, even understanding our intuition, because sometimes, you know, we're not sure what's our headspace and what's our intuition, right? That's why you had those two fours come out, which were cards of reflection, okay? Anyway, Gemini, I hope this has been helpful for you. Please take good care of yourselves, take good care of each other, and as always, be kind out there.